Hi ladies, I have a mini to share. Um, originally I created this mini, um, I started it the other day, and my intent was for this little mini to go inside of this tin. Um, so I, you know, I covered the tin with the paper, used the ribbon on top, I was all, you know, I, I left it like this so that you could see the cover of the mini through it, and um, the mini doesn't fit into it. <laughs> uh, I guess I just added too much stuff, and that's okay. Um, I'll probably do something else with this. It's really pretty, so I, I might just leave it on my desk with some flowers and stuff in it. I'm not sure yet, but I figured I would share the mini with you anyway. Um, so this mini is using the Prima Pastiche Collection. Um, I purchased this from Jen at Live Teach Create, um, and it's just beautiful paper. I love the colors, the style of it. It's just gorgeous. Um, so I used um, coasters to create this. Uh, the, on the ring I have um, a ribbon and then a couple of fibers and then just one charm. And this charm, actually I got this today from Donna. Donna's at Cardmaker123. And this is beautiful. It just goes with the collection perfectly, I think. Um, so I knew when I saw it, I knew I was going to use it on this. And I had um, just the cover to finish up, so it, it actually worked out perfectly. So Donna, thank you so much for that. Um, the cover, I, I left fairly plain because I love the dress form. I love the butterfly and the bird. Um, I did add a couple of Primas, and then I added um, one of the new Tim Holtz buttons. And um, I think that, that the two of them together just complement each other. So, Okay, so inside um, this first page, I have a glimmer chip. That I used glimmer a couple of different colors of glimmer mist on and then I used glossy accents on it you can see the shine there and then I left it open in the back so that I could slide a picture back there and then this paper has lines on it so I figured it's kind of like built-in journaling um, so I just left it the way it was um, this page um, I used some of this um, beautiful ribbon and this flower somebody sent this to me with an Etsy order and this is actually um, punched out of wallpaper and what I did was I wet it all and then I scrunched it up and then I put it all together and added the little um, these little elements are from the pastiche collection um, there's a little heart and then a little butterfly um, and then I created a couple of little tags using the the papers and then I um, use glossy accents on the um, the tops there oops and same thing with the butterfly. Okay. And then the next page. Okay, so this is using um, the pattern paper and then just a Martha Stewart punch. There's a little Prima, sugared Prima there, and then a Prima leaf. And then the border behind it is actually from the collection there. And I just cut the um, the end piece off there and then added it behind there. And these are all um, self-adhesive. So this just opens, whoops, like that. Okay, and then this page has got more of the trim in red and then a Prima flower. And then there's a little um, oh journaling or um, for photos. And then I added a piece of lace at the the edge there and then that just <clears throat> slides down in there. This page, um, Angela won a um, one of the crocodiles that I gave away and she sent me this and it's so cute. It's actually a barrette or a, um, a pin. So um, it's just clipped onto the little pocket there but I just thought it was perfect with this. It's got the little shimmery pink flower and this is a little half pocket. The other pocket is used on the other page. Um, and this comes out. And then it has some uh, of the little Prima ribbon. And then this just opens like this. And then this slides into the pocket like that. And then on this page is the top of that pocket that I just sealed at the end. Um, there's a piece of black lace that I ran a piece of green ribbon through. And then there's um, a piece of torn uh, pattern paper up here that I edged with Distress Ink. And then in here is just um, a little photo mat that slides in there. Okay. 
The next page, I used a part of a doily on it. Um, I did not glimmer mist it, um, just because I like the contrast of the white and the um, the edge of this piece here. And this is also from the Pastiche collection. Um, so it's like uh, journaling here, and then there's also a tag for journaling or pictures. Um, but I like the white, the way the white looks there, so I didn't do anything to it. Um, this page is, uh, it's the same pattern paper. I just tore it and then edged it with walnut stain, added the um, trim at the bottom and another Prima, uh, sugared Prima. And this is actually raised up um, with pop dots so that um, I can stick, um, you know, additional pictures or journaling behind here. There's room for that, so. Okay, and then this page, um, again, love the paper, so I only added just a strip of ribbon, and I added one of Donna's flowers that she sent me today. Um, it's beautiful, so, and I think it goes nicely with the collection, so I used that. This page, um, let's see, we have a little uh, journaling chipboard piece that's from the collection, and then an acetate butterfly. And then the very last page has got um, a ribbon here and that I left open so I could slide something underneath there. And then this flower is just, um, I punched out a bunch of flowers from the Kesarasara paper and I um, sprayed them with starch and then crunched them up and added a little brad and then just kind of fluffed them up and whatever. And then these, uh, this little stamp is from the um, Prima stamp set I just got and this is what it looked like. And then I just added uh, different colors of um, Tim Holtz ink. So that's it. That's the little mini, um, just for the heck of it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. And my poor little tin that it doesn't fit into but the paper is so beautiful I just think that um, I may just sit it on my desk I don't know maybe I'll do something with it maybe I'll give it away or maybe I'll fill it with something and give it away I'm not sure okay so anyway ladies thank you so much for watching bye